Hello everyone, I just want to share a, a little project I've been working on the last couple of days with you and this is a little vintage style sewing machine that I've put together and I just thought I'd take a shot standing back like that so you can get a better idea of what it looks like and now I'll get in a bit closer. Um, I made one of these little sewing machines for Jane Rag oh, quite some time ago now. Um, I did it in the traditional black singer colours for her and that was the first one I've made and this is the this is the second one I've made and I've put a little tutorial together for it. Uh, I may I may put the pattern up on Pinterest. I just need to tweak it in a couple of spots first because um, I, I lost part of my original pattern over time and um, yeah, I had to kind of fix it so I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. I probably would yeah, kind of change the shape just a little bit perhaps um, if I did it again sorry the dogs are barking and I've sat it I've made a little box to sit it on I mean oh goodness can you hear those dogs oh, it's because the mailman the mailman's here um but you can see that in the tutorial also I think it turned out really 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 pretty very shabby chic style very romantic I've used lots of flowers and laces and this gorgeous wedding trim is actually one that I won from Sonia Steptoe um, love 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 that that wedding applique absolutely gorgeous this beautiful piece here is from Hazel um, quite some time ago also I was looking for something else and and I was rummaging through the box of goodies um, that I, I kind of put people's stuff all together if they send me things and I saw it and I thought I wonder if that will work um, I will note in the video different people if things come from different people though so um, there we go I will I hope you enjoy the video the other side of it is actually it's plain it doesn't have the beautiful ribbon work but I did put the flowers and and the crystals and things around the other side as well and just a little I've been leaning it on its side to do things a little roughly bow in there for the winder so I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Thank you for joining me today. Hello everyone. Today I'm making a sewing machine and I made one of these for Jean. I can't even remember how long. A couple of years ago now at least I'm sure. Um, I will put a link to that particular sewing machine in the description box below. And I'm just putting it together and I thought I would film film it I've actually I've pieced it together some scraps of material I had and I've just covered it in some curtaining fabric that uh, Louisa sent me thank you Louisa and I was just about to start pinning it all together and I think I will pin it from the inside of the sewing machine uh, and I've only ever made one of these and it's my own pattern and I actually lost part of the pattern so I've had to kind of um, redo it a little bit so I'm just hoping that it works so I am going to pin this to one side all the way around and then stitch it and I'll be back okay so that's that's it and when you sew it of course you sew right sides together um, you do have to watch the corners um, so just slow down around the corners um, and the, I think the trickiest part to sewing it is making sure you get this part the same as the first part otherwise it's going to twist like this whole area if you don't 
you don't get your seams right, your sewing machine will kind of twist like that once you're finished. We don't want that. So you started, um, I started here with this one. So I'm going to start there um, with this one also. And I'm going to pin that around and sew that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've, I've just been pinning this other side and I just wanted to show you, um, once you've got one side sewn on, if you kind of, like the other side here, if you put it like on the inside of it and, and, and go like that, it will fit in there really nicely. And what I mean about not letting it twist is, once you've got it pinned, pull it like that and make sure it's all even and looks even and it's not skewed like that and it will hopefully turn out right for you. Now I've put a few pins in, not everybody likes to use pins, um, that's a personal, a personal choice and I did see another method that didn't use pins and I just can't remember what it was now. I saw it and I wish I did know um, and I can't even remember where I saw it and exactly what it was. So maybe I'll come across it another day. Okay so I am once again going to start sewing from the same point that I sewed from on the last, on, on this side. So I'll be back once I've stitched all the way around. Okay. Now the test and hopefully it turned out all right and I didn't catch it. I think I caught it in a couple of places. Um, I won't really know until I turn it through the other side. And sometimes like on these projects you can't even tell because it's covered in lace. So hopefully that will be the case. If not, then we'll just go back and we will fix it. Got a catch on my nail. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, I can see I did catch it, but it depends where I've caught it. So. And let's hope it's not twisted in any way. The only way to really see if it's going to look alright is to stuff it and then if you feel that it needs fixing in a couple of spots then you unstuff it and you fix those things. So I'm going to stuff it and see what it looks like. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so I have stuffed it. I haven't stuffed it all the way because it's still open at the bottom. It has it has a fairly good shape to it. That's from the top, that's the side, that's that's the front. You just play around with it. Um, that's the other side and that is the back and of course this will all be trimmed up once um, That'll be trimmed off even once I have got a base for it. Sorry, I was looking at it. And that will be a bit firmer down the bottom, obviously, once I put the rest of the stuffing inside of it. And of course, it will sit like that. It will have the winder on the back here. It will have a needle and it will have a bobbin on top. Um, and when you put it in, you kind of want it like that 
much and then you want your base so I mean to be honest I can see where if I made another one I would make a couple of adjustments you know I would have that coming down probably a little bit sharper there but it's not finished yet so I'm not going to worry um, too much I'm quite happy with the shape of that it's um I like them having the gusset on them because it gives them that dimension you know that they kind of look or, well they don't look real but they um they just have a little bit a little bit of realism to them so okay I am off now to find some bits for it and to find a base for it and then we will then I will be back so I don't have a box but what I did find is this this is a Reader's Digest cover encyclopedia dictionary and it just seems to be the right size I want something that will sit like that give it a little bit of gap at the end there and a little bit of gap at the end there and it's just got that much space on either side so it's actually perfect um, I just need to make this into a box yeah that's what I'll do I'll make this into a box um, it's already been gutted a while ago made a book box for some time so I'm gonna have to need some cardboard don't I and I'll need my glue gun on and we'll put this away for a little while um, so put that away and I need some cardboard okay I'll be back so I've just found this nice thick cardboard here um, and I've, I've measured four pieces these are 22 centimeters these two are both 14 centimeters and I've made them four centimeters high I may have to adjust that when I put it in the book we'll see how it looks I may have to like shorten either one of these two um, just to you know allow for the thickness so I'm going to cut these out and then I will be back okay it's a bit rough <laughs> I obviously need a new cutting blade I don't uh, I don't use it very often so um, it, it's, it's a bit old I've had that for a long long time but I think it needs a new blade let's have a look and see if that works uh, so it might be a bit high actually I'm thinking because I only sort of guessed the height and by the look of it uh, let's have a look How... I should have just measured the spine but bit high. Mm, no, it might just be quite all right, which is nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, we're going to save that because I can use that in a junk journal. So, uh, um, let's just have a look before I start. All right, okay. Oh, I think I needed to trim these down anyway, like the scissors. Okay, so that goes 
just like that. Right. And then, like that, or do I want a bit of a lip? Hmm. Do I want a lip? Now I'm going to take some of and hopefully that's the same. Alright, um, okay, I'll be back soon. I need to think about what I'm going to do.